Hi there. Now that you're set up on Zwift, let's look into what's next, racing on Zwift. There's a lot to talk about, so let's get started. We're going to cover the types of racing on Zwift, race categories, Zwift power, and some best practices. You can find races around the clock, day or night, no matter where you are. No need to pay an entry fee or pin on a number. Racing is also a great way to get in a time-efficient workout. So if you're looking for gains in a short amount of time, this is a great place to start. It's also a ton of fun. First up, types of races. When scrolling through events in the Zwift Companion app or online, look for the checkered flag. When you see it, you know it's a race. Zwift offers various types of races, from rookie races to more traditional criteriums to road races to individual and team time trials or relays. We've got something for everyone. This includes power-ups. These fun additions are like in-game superpowers that help your avatar speed up by making you lighter or more aero. They can even make you disappear from your competitors mid-race. These are awarded under archways. Save them for a time during the race when you need them most. Now that you know about the types of races and in-game perks, let's move on to race categories. Zwift cycling races are divided into four main categories, A, B, C, and D. Each category is defined by the athlete's watts per kilo based on their personal FTP or functional threshold power. Category A is for the fastest athletes. Category D races are where most beginners start. Zwift uses a category enforcement to place athletes in their respective categories. So if you're a new racer and you wanna see how you measure up to your fast friends, getting a few rides in ahead of time will benefit your experience. If you're joining a race with category enforcement, you will be shown a selection of categories that are the best fit for you. By keeping riders in the category that best represents their fitness level, it makes events fair for everyone participating. You can only enter the category you qualify for or higher. As your fitness improves, your category can change. Getting ready for your first race? Let's cover some tips. First things first, know the course. The more you know about the ascents, descents, and sprint segments, the better. Once you know the course, it's important to find the right virtual gear for the job. For cyclists, head over to the drop shop to choose the appropriate in-game bike and wheel set. Flat course, it's all about aerodynamics. Hilly course, a lighter bike with lighter wheels is the way to go. Tip number two, make sure you're well-fueled and hydrated before the start line. You'll also wanna make sure you have a fan, water, a towel, and maybe some music. Many races also require a heart rate monitor, so make sure it's connected during your warm-up. If you don't have a heart rate monitor, don't worry. There are still plenty of events you can take part in. Speaking of warm-up, the first one to two minutes of these races start fast. Getting a solid warm-up in is crucial. Things usually calm down after the initial surge, usually. Next up, drafting. Find a wheel and stick with it. Drafting will help you stay in the group and use less energy. Keep an eye on the front of the peloton and don't expect Zwifters to let off the gas. Once you've finished your race, you can find immediate preliminary results on the Zwift Companion app. Want a deeper dive? Head over to ZwiftPower.com for a full analysis of your racing efforts, results, and how you stack up against the competition. You've completed your first race on Zwift. Way to go. Interested in learning more? Check out Zwift.com racing. We'll see you in Crit City.